when you're using Meshroom to create photorealistic um, assets, background assets mainly like I use it, this hasn't been cleaned up, but I'm basically gonna use this in an environment um, like that. Uh, or I will actually be using it in this environment specifically. And when you're in or using Meshroom, um, just to add background detail, you don't want your scans to be overly dense. Um, uh, obviously in Meshroom, you've got these little tools down here. So I can see the solid model, I can see the wireframe. And if I look at this wireframe, this is not the kind of mesh density that I want for a background object. So to reconfigure the mesh density or recalculate the mesh density, I don't want to take this scan into Blender and retopo it because it's just not necessary. Um, rather, well, it is, it's just a lot of work to do it that way. And um, for a simple render, I understand gaming is a different workflow, but if I just want to render, I can use the node setup down here um, to, to do exactly that and recalculate and lower the mesh density and what I'll do is I'll right click um, and find mesh decimate node <clears throat> and I will clamp the max number of vertices that this scene has now I'm going to clamp it at about 10,000 uh, which should which really is actually quite a lot already um, and Use that as an input from mesh filtering into mesh decimate um, and then from mesh decimate um, I'll have to create another texture node. This is already calculated and it's relevant to that scene. So I'm going to duplicate this node and then delete its input mesh because I want the decimate to be input in texturing too. So I'm just going to remove that. Um, then I'm going to decimate my clamped density um, and move that to input mesh. So what I have to do now, obviously, this is still reading very much a high density and it's unwrapped the model accordingly. So I'll have to, to recalculate the density and re-unwrap that in Meshroom. So the way that I'm going to do that now is I'll right click on mesh decimate and I have to compute that. So the mesh decimate node turned green. Um, I know because it's green, it's computed, it's finished computed. Um, computing, if I look at the wireframe now, it's a lot less dense than what it was. Um, you can just access these nodes by hitting control and double click. Uh, so it's really come down quite a lot in detail, which is what I want for a background object. The camera is never gonna be this close to it in a 3D scene. Then I do the same for the texture node. I'll right click on it, hit compute, and that'll compute my texture. Basically re-unwrap it and re-bake it. So I'm gonna take the rebake um, and put that into Blender, clean that up. It'll be a lot easier to clean up as well and then move it to a scene where I wanna use it as a background element. So texturing to the node turned green. I know it's done now. It's look, looking pretty good for a background object. Um, obviously it needs to be cleaned up well. Uh, what you can see on the side here is your triangle count um, so I started off at 1.3 million triangles and with my new node and decimate I'm at 20,000 triangle count basically so mesh density has really come down quite a lot. Uh, I can also down the file size here by uh, using a 1024 or whatever else size texture I want to uh, use. I'm just going to leave it at 8k. I can also select JPEG um, or the unwrap method, but I'm just gonna leave that for now. There's already a blender open, so I can just hit the middle mouse button, uh, which will basically start another copy of blender. Great little function from them there. Let's delete the default cube and then import the OBJ um, that was exported by Meshroom. It's quite a simple OBJ now, it came in quite quickly. 
quick reorientation. Maybe do a shade smooth. So here is my scan and I need to clean it up. I'm basically gonna take a circular selection um, and just enclose the area that I want in that selection. Flip the selection to select everything around that area and then delete that. So I'll just hit this to make sure that back face culling is not on. Um, and then get, go into selection mode, make sure face mode is selected, not edge mode click the area that I want. I can up and down this by using the plus or minus next to the number pad. Uh, I'm happy with that selection. Um, Control I will select the inverse and then just delete faces. And then obviously you can delete whatever is next um, to your scan here or outside your scan. Um, just clean up around it a little bit. And there it is, I'm happy with that. I'm not worried about the ground around here because I'll push the scan slightly through the floor and that will get rid of most of this. Uh, but now it's a, such a mesh density that I can actually comfortably use it in another scene and I'm not worried about it being too dense or too resource heavy. The camera is never gonna get close to it. The camera is probably gonna be around here. So it's always gonna look good in the background. Um, and it is the right mesh density for a background object.